Hello everybody, welcome back to another Cameron University esports stream. We have the new summer schedule out, so if you aren't sure, you can check that on our Twitch page. We are going to be streaming Mondays and Fridays from 2 to 4, so a bit earlier than usual. But it looks like for today, we're just going to be playing some more League with Cameron running Twitch, Sin Zhao, Blitzcrank, Gwen, and Gangplank against the enemy teams Fizz, Rengar, Pike, Jin, and Mordekaiser. I gotta say, that Space Groove skin for Gwen is like absolutely adorable. I haven't tried her out yet. I need to. I've heard she's really good. So hopefully we'll see some really good gameplay in this video today. And it looks like for this game, Cameron will be the red team. Already pushing through blue team's jungle, looking for an early game flank. But it looks like they won't be finding anybody. Looks like the enemy team just barely missed them, also looking for a flank in that top lane jungle. It looks like Cameron's just probably going to be waiting right next to this red buff. Unless they want to go back into their jungle. Looks like the pike does see them sitting there, camping that red buff, so he's going to just absolutely get out of there. Doesn't want to be feeding, especially this early into the match. That Gwen emo is so adorable, by the way. My god. I think the Space Groove skins are some of the best we've seen in a while. Most definitely. Mostly just because they're extremely unique. I mean, we haven't seen something like that before. It looks like the enemy team will be giving Cameron this red buff. So Cameron's jungler will be getting a red and blue buff. Must be nice. It looks like Gwen will be taking mid lane against Fizz. And Gangplank going against Mordekaiser top lane. Looks like we're seeing an early push here already bot lane. Since Zao Blitzcrank and Twitch jumping out of that bot lane, finding that first kill onto Jin, who unfortunately does get caught out. Pike having to kind of wait around by his turret and play around his jungle. When looking to be aggressive onto this Fizz, she will be finding a few hits. Fizz now half health, being forced to pop that health potion. Gwen still looking for another kill for Cameron, but it looks like Fizz will get away. Getting closer to that turret, making sure to retreat, forcing Gwen to back up. She doesn't want to get hit by that turret, especially when she's at half health. Going top lane here, Gangplank pushing that Mordekaiser all the way back to his turret. Mordekaiser down some health as well, so Gangplank does have that advantage. Mordekaiser half health now, extremely low. Gangplank going in for that kill. It's best to chase him. Mordekaiser getting out one shot, barely escaping that. He's very lucky. Twitch and Blitzcrank pushing bot here. It looks like Blitz will be finding a hook onto that Jin. Jin already half health again. Pike doing his best to help out his teammate. Jin barely escaping. While Gwen is just getting some more damage onto that Fizz mid lane. Looks like Cameron's doing a really great job of being super aggressive. The enemy team doesn't really have a counter right now. Looks like Cameron's doing a really good job of subduing the enemy team. They seem to be confused at this point of what to do with Cameron. Fizz, though, finally finding some space to push up on Gwen. It looks like he's going to be jumping on her. Even though that turret is still going, he's probably going to be trading for it. And it looks like he will. Fizz does find that trade onto Gwen. Putting the enemy team now at one kill against Cameron's two. Cameron's still ahead. It's also surprising to see Twitch played because you don't see him getting played here at all. A lot of people don't really think he's good right now, but it looks like our Twitch is doing a great job. Looks like there for a second. Twitch almost went down. He did get rooted. That Jin is low. Pike looking for another hook. He does get blitz, but it's not enough to kill him. Jin one shot. Looks like Xin Zhao as well. Coming in from jungle and does find that kill onto Jin. Twitch one shot, barely escaping here. But it looks like Pike will be finding a trade off for his teammate. Looks like Cameron is looking to get that kill onto Pike as well. Xin Zhao will be finishing off that kill, putting Cameron out at four kills against the enemy teams too. Gangplank still doing his best to hold his ground. Top lane against Mordekaiser. Both of them around half health. Looks like Mordekaiser will be pulling in Gangplank for some tickle damage. Gangplank looking to come in, but he is low. Gwen and Blitzcrank will be catching out Rengar in jungle. Rengar extremely low, but it looks like Fizz will be coming in to help. Gwen might be getting caught out here, unfortunately, in this 2v1. That Fizz will be burning her and Gwen extremely low. There's not much he can do to fight back. 
Looks like Pike will be finding a kill on the Blitzcrank. Gwen will be trading there for a Rengar, but Fizz will ultimately be finishing her off. Fizz will be finding Zin Sao though in jungle. Hopefully Cameron can make this a trade-off completely. Fizz extremely low. The Pike is coming in to help. Barely misses that hook. Zin Sao just barely out of range, and it looks like he will be finding that kill. Both teams right now just keep trading each other. That Pike now running away. Looks like Cameron should be finding this kill as well. Twitch right next to him, but with that Jin, they might not be getting it. Looks like Jin, though, will be finding that shutdown onto Zin Zhao, getting that bonus bounty of 300 gold. Looks like Jin and Pike will be chasing him here. Twitch very low as well. Cameron already at six kills against the enemy team's five, but it looks like Blitzcrank might be going down here. He's a bit too far in in this 3v1. Looks like Twitch is going to do his best to get out. Blitzcrank right now, one health. Still doing his best to run away, but Rengar's right behind him. Blitz might actually be getting out. One shot though, it looks like Jin will be finishing him off. Cameron now and the enemy team even in kills, 6-6. Six to six, as Gwen is still doing her best against this Fizz. And I gotta say, I've been really loving this Gwen skin. It's just so goofy and colorful. Looks like Fizz will be one shot. Gwen tanking some turret shots, but it's not enough to take her down. She will be finding that kill onto Fizz, but it looks like Fizz will be trading for that kill somehow. Since Zhao will be getting that shutdown on the Pike, and Jin will be getting on a killing spree, trading there with Zin Zhao. It looks like the enemy team will be getting that Ocean Drake as well, still even on the leaderboard, 8-8, to eight, but it looks like Blitz might be feeding here. Looks like Twitch will be finding a shutdown, but Rengar will be trading once more, the leaderboard now 9-9. Nine Looks like both teams just keep trading. Twitch and Rengar looking for a trade, but now the enemy team will be ahead by one kill after Rengar does find that kill onto Twitch. He's had way too much lifesteal on him, unfortunately. His Gangplank still doing his best to push back Mordekaiser to that turret. The Mordekaiser is low. Gangplank popping that health potion to keep him up in this fight. Still wants to be aggro. Seven minutes into this match, both teams about even on the leaderboard. Enemy team at 12.7k in gold production, Cameron as well at 12.7k. Enemy team though, one kill ahead, 10 to 9 against Cameron. No turret kills yet, it is early game. As it looks like Blitz is doing his best to find a hook, he does find one there onto Jin. There's not much they can do against the 3v1. Looks like Twitch will be finding that finishing blow. Fizz, though, coming in from mid to help out his Mordekaiser as Gwen is bot lane. Gangplank barely surviving. He is extremely low, popping that health potion. Looks like Zin Zhao will be coming in from jungle, forcing Fizz and Mordekaiser to back up here. Looks like Zin going onto Mordekaiser first. He will be finding that kill. Finding a double kill as well onto Fizz as Pike, unfortunately, will be tra trading for Gwen bot lane. Enemy team still in the lead by one kill. 11 to 12 now against Cameron. Pike does find a hook there on a Blitzcrank. He's extremely low, does get stunned. Twitch doing his best to back up, but it looks like Jin will be finding that finishing blow on a Blitzcrank. Putting it now even on the leaderboard, 12 to 12. Zin Zhao's doing his best to run away from this Mordekaiser. That Rengar right behind him, there's not much he can do. Gangplank just a bit too far away. Mordekaiser is one shot and will be backing up, but that enemy Rengar will still be finding that kill on a Zin Zhao. Hopefully Rengar will be going down here as well, and it looks like Gangplank will be finding that shutdown. Twitch doing his best to protect that bottom lane turret from Jin and Pike, but they will be finding a turret plate, unfortunately. Both of them now backing up as Blitz is back. And Cameron should be clearing this next main wave. Once more, even on that leaderboard, now 13 to 13. Gangplank still taking a lot of space from this Mordekaiser top lane. Looks like he can't really be super aggressive here. That Mordekaiser is hiding behind that turret, so he is at risk of getting hit by those turret shots. Which right now with his health pool can be a bit dangerous. Gwen though, finding Fizz here mid lane. 
Fizz is low, being forced to back up. I don't think Gwen will be able to finish him off here. She is getting hit by that turret. Fizz one shot, still doing his best to fight back. We'll be popping that health potion as well. As Pike does jump in onto that Blitzcrank, he is low and he will be getting punished for it. Jin doing his best to help him out. As Zin Zhao is looking for a flank here from jungle down in the bot lane and will be finding that kill onto Jin Cameron as well. Finding a turret plate to trade off with and Twitch finally finishing off Pike, but he will be getting executed by that turret. Cameron now in the lead once more on that leaderboard. 15 kills to the enemy team's 13. His gangplank is forced to back up. Rengar though jumping in onto Zin Zhao bot lane. Zin though has insane lifesteal forcing Rengar to back up. He's still going to be finding that kill. Our Zin just absolutely fed now as Gwen finds another kill onto Fizz mid lane. Looks like Cameron finally found that flow they were looking for. 17 kills up on that leaderboard against the enemy kills 13. It looks like Jin will finally be finding a trade against that blitz crank as Zin finds another kill onto Jin. Pretty soon here, Zin Zhao is going to be absolutely unkillable for the enemy team, especially with how fed he is. Does find another kill onto Pike. Looks like bot lane here as Gangplank will be finding a kill onto Mordekaiser top lane. He's in now jumping in onto Rengar, finding that airborne. Rengar extremely low, but it looks like he's going to get saved by that turret. Looks like Fizz nearby, but Twitch as well. Zin Zhao will be finding that kill onto Jin, but eventually getting shut down by that turret damage and Rengar. And Rengar will be getting that bonus bounty of 400 gold. His gangplank does work on that top lane turret, and it looks like he's going to be finding another turret plate before Mordekaiser can get back. Cameron now in the lead as well, with gold production 24.7k against the enemy team's 20.7k. 15 kills for the enemy team, and 21 for Cameron. This does pop his ult, but does not find Gwen in it. Rengar jumping in from jungle, getting that root onto Gwen as well. She is half health, doing her best to back up behind that turret. She has enough left for the enemy team to not push her. Don't really find it of use to waste that health on that turret and eventually risk themselves feeding to that Gwen. Looks like Blitz looking for a hook, and he does find one here onto Jin. Jin extremely low, that Rengar though coming in from jungle. But Jin will be finding a shutdown instead onto Twitch, getting that bonus bounty of 300 gold. As Blitz is still looking for that finish onto Jin, and he will be finding it, but not without dying there to that pike. Looks like that Zin, though, will be finding a kill onto Mordekaiser as Cameron is looking to get that Rift Herald, forcing Fizz now to back up behind that turret top lane. This should give Zin Zhao and Gangplank the time to get this Rift Herald without any really challenge. Gwen, though, does find another turret plate here mid lane. This Fizz is not there to contest it. Honestly, she could probably get the whole turret, but she doesn't really know where that Fizz is at. It looks like now the enemy team's Pike and Rengar will be going for that Drake. Cameron not too interested in those. They do have that Rift Herald, though. And it looks like with that, Cameron will be finding two turret kills. Gangplank finding that top turret kill. As Gwen finds that mid lane turret kill, and she might be finding this kill onto Fizz as well. He's doing his best to back up behind that turret, but Gwen will be tanking a shot from that turret and finding that kill on Fizz. Went extremely low, looking for a double kill here onto Pike. Pike will be finding back that Rift Herald, still top. Gangplank looking for a second turret kill on the enemy team. On that leaderboard now, 24 kills against 17. Zin Zhao waiting by just in case this Gwen goes down, and she will be getting shut down, unfortunately, by that turret kill. Basically, Pike finding that trade Gangplank, though, finding a second turret kill top lane. Cameron still in the lead, Jin popping his old Twitch doing his best to get out. It looks like he will be finding a double kill, finding that kill onto that Blitzcrank and Rengar finding that finishing blow. Unfortunately, just Twitch getting caught out by Jin's ult. It's really hard to escape, especially when you're the only one in it and extremely close to him. Zen though, jumping in onto that Jin. Jin extremely low, being forced to back up. Zen will be tanking. Some of that turret damage now stuck between Rengar and that Jin, both of them running away. Zen doing his best to fight back, but it looks like he's gonna be getting 3v1, not much he can do against this. Pike will be finding that shutdown. Fizz even coming in from mid lane help as well. 
The enemy team really just wanted to make sure that Zen was going to be dead. Looks like Blitz almost getting caught out here. He does have that flash, though. He will be escaping that Fizz and Pike. Blitz, though, looking for a hook. That Fizz going into his jungle. It looks like he won't be looking for that fight. Pike, though, jumping in onto Blitz, but unfortunately will be getting caught out here by Twitch. Twitch will be finding that finishing blow. Putting Cameron now at 26 kills on that leaderboard. Gwen chasing Mordekaiser, but with that Fizz nearby and that Rengar coming in, there's not much she can do here. She might be going down. Blitz, though, coming in to help her out. And Gwen, unfortunately, will be getting shut down there by that Fizz. 22 kills now for the enemy team. Doing their best to catch up to Cameron. Cameron now four kills ahead. Twitch hiding there, looking for some damage onto that Jin. He will be finding a kill, though, on that bottom lane turret. And finishing off that Jin with the help of his Blitzcrank. Enemy team hasn't been able to find really any kills as of late or turret kills. Cameron now at four turret kills. And it looks like that's going to give Cameron as much space as they really want to get close to the enemy team's spawn. Let's turn the rest of the channel back, but we'll be getting shut down here by this Mordekai. So unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Pike, though, finding a double kill, stealing his Mordekaiser's kill. Vanguard though finishing off is in. It looks like Mordekaiser won't be getting any finishing blows in that team fight. Poor guy. Enemy team now at 25 kills against Cameron's 27. They probably should have just ran away while they still had time. Pretty sure they didn't really expect the enemy team to kind of be that aggro there on him. But they were kind of pushed into the enemy team's jungle. Gold production though, Cameron at 37k against the enemy team's 34k. Gwen as well, finding Rengar here in top lane jungle. She will be getting rooted. Rengar doing his best airborne his way out of there. That Mordekaiser are coming back to help, but he is low as well. Fizz coming in. It looks like right now the enemy team's just winning because they're all diving them. Gwen, though, will be finding a pick, and she won't be going down. She might now, though. Fizz jumping in. He will be finding that finishing blow onto Gwen, making it a trade. And with that ult from Fizz, Twitch will be forced to back up. 26 to 28 now. Enemy team, two kills behind Jin popping that ult. Gangplank and Blitz are gonna have to be really careful here. Jin popping one last shot, and it looks like he won't be finding anyone. Twitch instead finding a shutdown. Blitz one shot, looking for hook, misses it unfortunately. But luckily, Twitch will be finding another shutdown onto Rengar. Getting that bonus bounty of 150 gold as Cameron's minions here will be finding that second crit kill to mid lane. Zin Zhao as well shutting down Pike. It's Mordekaiser's working on him. Zin extremely low. Blitz coming in to help. It looks like Mordekaiser will finally be getting that kill onto Zin. It's been really hard for the enemy team to kill him at all. Like I said, he is still extremely hard fed. As well as this Gwen now is gangplank. Is looking for the sixth turret kill for Cameron top lane, and it looks like he should be finding it. It's extremely low. Unfortunately, has to get out. Gangplank one as well, and it looks like Jin will be finding that shutdown. 450 gold. Blitzcrank, though, coming in. Looks like he was trying to sacrifice himself to get that turret kill. And still one shot. Unfortunately, doesn't get it. That was extremely close. 28 kills now for the enemy team. And 31 for Cameron as Blitzcrank does get shut down by that turret. Nice try, though. Looks like that Infernal Drake should be spawning here. He's second now. And it looks like it is up. Getting hit here by the enemy team. Gwen nearby, but there's not much she can do. She doesn't really necessarily want to go down. Her Zin is nearby. Twitch still coming back, but it looks like the enemy team will be slaying that Infernal Drake before Cameron can get to it. Mordekaiser now jumping onto Gwen, and it looks like Mordekaiser will be getting that kill onto Zin. Rengar finishing off Gwen as Twitch does find a double kill onto Jin and Fizz before getting shut down there by Rengar as Gangplank as well finds a kill onto Mordekaiser. It looks like Cameron should be winning this team fight though. Rengar one shot, Gangplank and Blitzcrank right behind him, and it looks like Gangplank will be finishing off that kill. Cameron now at 35 kills against the enemy team's 31. 44 as well, and gold production wise against the enemy team's 40k. Cameron has five turret kills as well against the enemy team zero. Enemy team just having a really hard time doing anything. And if they keep just giving up more and more space, they're gonna have an even harder time. Pike just running into the enemy team. And it looks like he will be getting shut down by that turret. I have no clue why the enemy pike was so close into Cameron's spawn. Might have just gotten caught out somehow. Or just purposely fed. 
I wouldn't doubt if there was some toxicity going on in the enemy team. Cameron is hard rolling. And it looks like Cameron now will be going for that second Rift Herald, which should help them push into the enemy team spawn. They are basically one turret away on either side. A top lane turret still extremely low in the enemy team spawn. Looks like with that, since out we'll be finding a kill onto Rengar. Looks like the enemy team came in to kind of stop Cameron. Mordekaiser 1 will be finding a kill onto Blitzcrank to trade. The enemy team minions will be finding their first turret kill for them, as Gwen does find that kill onto Mordekaiser. Another trade there, Spike is doing his best to back up, protect his turret. Cameron is still doing their best to be as aggressive as possible. They do have to wait though for those minions to come in before they can start kind of getting aggressive on those turrets. Pike jumping in onto Zinn, but there's not much he can do. Zinn is just absolutely crazy, does get rooted, almost goes down extremely low. Not before finding that kill onto that Pike. Cameron right now at 38 kills against the enemy team's 32. And it looks like those minions will be doing some damage to that mid lane turret and the enemy team spawn. Rengar waiting by to jumps in. That Gangplank is also nearby. This might mean death for that Rengar. Luckily, it looks like he is a bit fast and can get away. Mordekaiser looking to help him out. It looks like Rengar will be getting out safely, but not without being forced to pop a health potion. Cameron's still looking to be aggressive. Zen jumping in onto Mordekaiser, and he keeps getting airborne, and it looks like Gangplank will be finding that finishing blow with the assist from Zen and that Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank jumping in, doing his best to get back out. It looks like they will be getting Jin to kind of play outside of his spawn. But unfortunately, they will be trading for that Zin Pike, finding that finishing blow. Gwen will be finding another turret kill, though. Looks like your bot lane, as Twitch does find that kill onto Fizz. Fizz, though, will be trading for Blitzcrank once more. Everyone keeps trading as Gwen finishes off Pike. Next, all Rengar has to do is kill Gwen here so they can trade once more. It looks like they won't be killing Gwen without her getting a kill onto that inhibitor. It looks like Twitch finishing off another inhibitor in the enemy team spawn. Gwen as well finding a kill onto Mordekaiser. And Cameron should be getting this game here. It looks like Jin will be popping his ult. Gwen doing her best to dodge these shots. She is immune is low though and we'll be getting shut down here by Rengar. We'll be getting that 450 gold and it looks like with that Cameron won't be finishing off the game yet. They are a bit too low. The enemy team has respawned. They don't really want to risk feeding at this stage. It looks like Gangplank might not be able to get out. He does get airborne and pulled into the enemy team and shut down by that Rengar. Rengar once more getting another bonus bounty of 400 gold. This Rengar, I mean he must be absolutely kitted out by now. Zin's down, Blitzcrank waiting nearby, looking for a jump. And it looks like Zin will just immediately be one-shotting this low health pike. Rengar half health, doing his best to get away. So it looks like his Fizz will be getting killed here as well by this Twitch. It looks like Rengar has enough time to get away though with his Jin. They should be protecting their spawn. Twitch looking for another kill, but it looks like he's doing his best to back up. Goes in a bit too far and gets shut down here by that Rengar. Rengar once more getting another bonus bounty of 400 gold. Gwen here is looking 2 3 v one does get rooted by the enemy team. She does have insane life still. She might be able to find a kill onto that Mordekaiser, but Gwen is low. Zen finding a kill onto that Infernal Drake. In the meantime, Gangplank coming in, and it looks like Gwen will be finding that kill onto Rengar. Gangplank as well finding that kill onto Mordekaiser. That Fizz respawning there for the enemy team. It's going to be a 3v2. Gwen extremely low, and Pike will be finding that kill onto Gwen. Blitz doing his best to jump in to look for some damage, but again, Cameron can't really be super aggressive right now with those turrets still active in the enemy team spawn. Looks like Fizz will be finding that kill onto Gangplank as Zin does trade for the Fizz. Cameron does find another turret kill though onto the enemy team. One more turret, and then that Nexus, and Cameron should be able to take this W. The enemy team's gonna have to be super protective of their spawn right now. Cameron does have those ally super minions. 
looks like Cameron's grouping up for another push. They should easily have this game. Enemy team only has one turret kill so far. As Zen is still doing his best to kind of push here through bot. I'm sure his minions can get into the enemy team spawn. The enemy team's just gonna have to basically be on minion guard until their inhibitors come back. Situations like this can be extremely painful for the enemy team and definitely make them lose out on a lot of buffs. Zen though getting caught out here by Pike. Unfortunately, Pike getting that bonus bounty of 150 gold off that Zen. 40 kills for the enemy team and 48 so far for Cameron. As Gwen and Gangplank will be working on that Baron Ashore. Definitely something Cameron needs to push up here. It looks like Twitch will be coming in. Let's as well. I think the enemy team does kind of know they are there. But it looks like that Rengar and Pike don't necessarily want to go in. And it looks like they won't be anyways. Cameron does find that kill onto that Baron Ashore already. It looks like with this... Blitzcrank should be able to find a kill here onto this Fizz. He's definitely looking for a hook onto someone. Pike might be getting caught out here first. Rengard jumping in. Blitz might be getting caught out here. He does have that res. He has health, but unfortunately, he will be getting shut down there by Pike. Getting playing doing his best to back up half health as well. Pike finding that hook. Looks like that Baron Ashore buff won't be really doing much as Jin does find another kill. Two down for Cameron right now. As the enemy team now is just doing their best to you know, get some space back from Cameron as they did have to kind of protect their spawn for a good two minutes now. Cameron now forced to uh, play passively until they respawn. Zin getting caught up here again by this Rengar. Twitch though nearby. Zin will be finding that kill. Pike extremely low. Twitch will be getting the shutdown when on that Jin as well. Getting rooted. Jin doing his best to run away and with no turrets there to stop him. Gwen should have another kill. Fortunately, misses her shots. Nine turret kills right now for Cameron and only one for the enemy team. This is going to be extremely rough for them. Hopefully Cameron can finish this game off. The enemy team doesn't really have much that could stop Cameron at this point. His one shot as well, getting rezzed. Zen and Gwen camping his body and it looks like he might be getting out for now. His one, sh one shot getting rezzed again. And it looks like Zen will be finding that finishing blow. His twitch does work on that turret. And with no turrets there for the enemy team, Cameron needs to take out that last inhibitor before they can start working on that Nexus. It looks like Twitch will be getting stunned and unfortunately shut down there by Pike and Jin. Cameron will be finding another inhibitor kill. Jin does shut down the Sin as well. The minions finding another turret kill. With no turrets for the enemy team, Cameron should be able to get this Nexus without any problems. Rengar though, taking down Gangplank. Gwen, the only one left. And we might be needing to regroup for another push here before they can take this W. One and one shot. Looks like she will be getting taken out there by Rengar, but not before she gets that kill onto Pike. Looks like now taking out that last inhibitor. And we should be able to win this match. I'm very surprised the enemy team hasn't surrendered yet. I mean, they have nothing blocking the Nexus. They're basically going to have to be protecting that 24-7 now. 47 against 52 though on that leaderboard enemy team definitely still looking for a comeback pretty sure though they are extremely tilted i would be right now pretty sure someone on the enemy team wants to surrender Cameron now working on that Infernal Drake. It looks like the enemy team won't be able to get it just a second too late. It looks like with that, Rengar will be having to back up there with his pike. Looks like that Jin is kind of kind of standing there as well in standby just in case his teammates need help. But it looks like that pike will be finding that kill onto Gameplank. Twitch though trading for that pike as Rengar does find that finishing blow onto Twitch. Looks like Gwen though in the meantime in the enemy team spawn. 2v1 right now, Mordekaiser and Fizz. Looks like Mordekaiser will be finding a res. They can't really kill Gwen right now. She just has too much health. Jin though coming in. He came back to spawn to find that kill onto Gwen. 50 to 53 right now on that leaderboard. Cameron three kills ahead. Zin is chasing this Rengar in Cameron's jungle. 
one of Kaiser Fizz and Jin being forced to kind of sit and spawn right now and clear those minion waves before they can get to that Nexus. It looks like Zen is still chasing this Rengar through jungle. It looks like Rengar though will be escaping, but not before getting caught out here by Blitzcrank. Looks like Blitzcrank still doing his best sort of to run away here. He does have that help from Zen. It looks like he's doing his best to kind of bait that Pike into pushing up a bit further. The Pike knew what was coming and the enemy team backed off once more. Cameron looking for a regroup. They should be looking for a final push here. It looks like Blitzcrank will be backing up. Doesn't necessarily want to get caught out here too early before his team groups up completely. It looks like Gwen will be the only one not pushing with the team right now. Hopefully Cameron can finish off this game. It's definitely long awaited. There's not much the enemy team can do. This is definitely a win for Cameron. If it isn't, I mean, this is going to be the biggest comeback we've seen in all of our streams. Enemy team already preparing for this team fight, backing up into their spawn completely. One is going to make her way down to the enemy team spawn as well. Mordekaiser, the first one to take some damage here already. Half health. Zin jumping in onto Fizz. Fizz one shot doing his best to back up, and it looks like Zin will be getting rooted, but does res. Rengar one shot Mordekaiser doing his best to kill onto that gangplank. One low as well. She might be getting shut down here. Twitch does get that kill onto Rengar as Mordekaiser will be finding it, that kill onto gangplank. Fizz will be shutting down Gwen as well as Zen trades for Pike. Looks like Mordekaiser will be getting Twitch, and Jin will be getting that Zen. Surprisingly enough, the enemy team will be killing Cameron, but that Nexus is at one health. Hopefully these minions can kill it in time. It looks like the enemy team will live once again. Extremely lucky that Nexus just one health. So close. I mean, the enemy team has to surrender now. I mean, come on. This game is so over. Surprisingly though, it is even on the leaderboard 55 to 55, but there's no way the enemy team can recover from this. But it looks like the enemy team will be getting one of their inhibitors back here pretty soon. Right now the enemy team just has to block sort of these minions from coming into their spawn. It looks like Mordekaiser and the enemy team will be going for that Baron Ashore. Cameron finally respawns, comes back into the fight. Looks like Cameron won't be able to stop the enemy team from getting this Baron. They might just be a second too late. Looks like the enemy team will be finding that kill onto Baron. But Blitzcrank and Gangplank will be jumping in, getting a kill onto that Jin, and it looks like Gwen will be flanking into the enemy team spawn, and finally getting that kill onto that Nexus, giving Cameron that victory.